Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let me guess, you're here because you have an issue with Windows Automatic Repair and this terrible black screen loop which is occurring every time? Don't you worry, we know how to fix it. Let's go! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael from the Recovery Team and if you enjoy this kind of practical data tutorials and solutions, consider subscribing to our channel. Well, today's problem is a very common Windows software related problem and it very often results into you launching automatic repair and then getting stuck at a black screen or just a loop occurring every now and then. And there are a few kinds of solutions that we can propose, but just as every other problem that we are supposed to fix, let's figure out which could be the root causes. Among the most popular reasons, of course, the master boot record, which is responsible for being part of the file system and helping Windows to read whatever it needs to read. Well, if that's corrupted, apparently the operating system cannot go any further. If the hard disk drive or the SSD is not properly connected, meaning a loose connector, now that could also be contributing to the behavior. Could be a BIOS setting altered accidentally without you realizing, but of course double check the BIOS configuration. Could be a software related thing, maybe something you have installed yesterday or the day before. Or at the end, Windows registry, which could always be one of the suspects. Right, since now we can recognize the root cause or the potential originators of this kind of behavior, Let's start a troubleshoot. One of the most common troubleshooting techniques for Windows is to try to put the operating system into the so-called safe mode. This is a very specific mode of the operating system, which is loading just the essentials. It's getting rid of all the unnecessary drivers, services and third-party apps, and it's just focusing on only the essentials. Power up your computer and choose to boot from the Windows installation media. You're going to be prompted to the Windows setup screen. Click the next button to proceed further. Now tap the repair your computer button at the bottom left corner. Then click troubleshoot, advanced options and choose command prompt from the list. Once the command prompt is visible, here execute the following command. bcd edit slash set default save boot minimal and after entering the command, close the prompt. Then continue to exit the advanced startup and wait for the PC to restart automatically. At this point, the system is going to boot into safe mode and you're going to be able to remove the faulty third-party apps or whichever is causing this boot loop. Now we can exclude the possibility of a software or a third-party app to be originator of this issue. So let's focus on the second proposed solution that we offer, which would be related to drivers and more precisely, how to handle an update or reinstallation of the driver of the graphic adapter. In order to do so, you're still going to have to use safe mode, so make sure to follow the tutorial from step 1. Once you're successfully booted into safe mode, press Windows and X and choose Device Manager. Now expand the Display Drivers option, right-click the default graphics driver, then tap the Uninstall button and remove the current version. Wait for the driver to get uninstalled completely, and then go to the website of your graphic adapters manufacturer and download the latest display driver pack for your computer. Run the installer, follow the on-screen instructions and get the new version of the display drivers installed. Now, restart the computer, check if the black screen error is fixed or not. If these steps so far are not working, then most likely we're dealing with corrupt MBR or BCD and things here are going to become a little bit more complicated, but don't worry because you've got you covered and let's see how we can fix the BCD in the next few steps. Grab the Windows installation media and I'm going to show you how to rebuild the BCD in no time. Power up your computer and boot into the installation media. On the startup screen, click the next button, tap repair your computer, then click troubleshoot, then advanced options and select command prompt to launch the command prompt. And now we have to execute these commands in the same order as they appear. Boot rec flash fix boot, then boot rec flash scan OS, then there's another one boot rec slash fix MBR and bootrec slash rebuild BCD. 
All right, one more possible solution behind our backs. If it worked for you, then great. If it didn't, we carry on with possible more solutions. Well, excluding things bit by bit, apparently now we're talking about an obvious trouble with automatic repair. So let's figure out whether there's a way to disable this automatic repair. We use the exact same steps in order to boot and launch the command prompt using the Windows installation media. Then we execute the following command bcd edit slash set current recovery enabled no. And that's the command which is going to turn off the automatic repair. From now onwards, whenever you boot your computer, it won't initiate the automatic repair and you're going to be able to access your system without getting stuck in any loop. While I know that probably one of those four steps has helped you to recover your condition or probably fix the trouble that you're currently experiencing, there always is the chance that something doesn't really work right. And uh, you know that when there are no other options, <laughs> one of the common things people do is to reinstall Windows. Thing is that during this reinstallation, you might lose a lot of data, therefore, I want to show you a practical and easy way of how you can recover your lost files, which might happen to be just temporarily lost using Recover It. Just temporarily find a spare computer, install and launch Recover It on the screen, and select Recover from Crash Computer on the home screen. Then click Next and choose the USB drive that you want to use as a bootable drive. Create in order to proceed further. Recover it is now going to ask you to format the USB drive. Simply tap the Format button and wait for the process to complete. The tool is going to automatically start creating a bootable drive with Recover it. And now simply boot your computer from the USB drive and follow the on screen instructions in order to get all the files back that you need to be recovered. So that's been everything for today's episode. And I, I truly hope we managed to turn those four scary sounding recovery tutorials into things that are easy to understand and follow and very much hope that uh, one of those four options has helped you to recover your condition and uh, don't forget to use recover it as a very reliable way to recover any lost files if you kind of enjoy these kind of practical data tutorials make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you have any questions related to today's topic we're expecting you in the comment section below. My name is Michael, a lot of smiles and positive vibes, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.